Uh, so this is the uh, project uh, PwC uh, Chum data set. Then this I got as an int virtual intensive data set. So this uh, table, let me give you a quick overview. This table contains customer, gender, uh, senior details and all the details about the gender. Okay, you can see here, all the details are here. And uh, another data set is also given, it's called Pragma Group AG, okay. So this is basically the department and department wise the uh, details of the employees. This is customer details, this is employees details, okay. So uh, <clears throat> to proceed with this uh, uh, project, I created a DAX uh, group where I prefer uh, to create all the uh, measures instead of calculated columns, I created measure, measures, okay. So as you can see, this is the first page of the dashboard. There are other pages uh, in this, um, this, is, this is the main, main page. Customer retention analysis. Here we really talk about the retention and of the customers. Okay, and the sub page we have the uh, how and in what pattern the churning is happening segment wise, like gender, stream TV, all that. Okay, uh, revenue losses are here. Revenues and loss, all the details of profit, which type of customers should we target. So and then churning analysis also here. On subscription, are the long time scale subscriptions are affecting uh, the pa partners? Online security, tech support, device protection, all this. And at last, we have diversity and inclusion analysis. So, this is uh, basically the uh, demographic uh, division of the uh, customers, all the democratic division of the customers and the employees, total employees. As you can see, this is 500 total employees. Okay, so let me give a quick power through of how the DAX is DAX is working. <coughs> so here you can see uh, the total employees is there. This is my this is how we how we calculated the total count of the employees. Total employees we uh, I have used the calculate comma uh, count. This count will actually give me the uh, total. This will sum unique uh, unique numbers of the uh, employees ids and then this will calculate the <coughs> total employees uh, now let's come to average performance uh, average performance uh, here i used a uh, gauge so here here also i have calculated <coughs> a max target this target is the hiring new hiring I, this is my dax new hiring is like mm -hmm. Count of X filter. This will take uh, a data set and another data set uh, which will uh, indicate then what I want want to filter. So this pragma uh, group AG new hiring if uh, financial year twenty twenty equal to yes. So I wanted where the new year financial year twenty twenty how many hirings were there. So as you can see here in the pragma group here you can see in the pragma group we have a column called hiring let me show you wait last hire date <coughs> here last hire date we have a column so based on this I created this new hiring so it's basically uh, subtracting the uh, previous year uh, total uh, total employees with the number of employees which have left and this is the resigned resign means total how how many have resigned <coughs> prima group AG, this is the DAX function this I've used and this is the current employees current employees also i have made a made a dax is basically uh, total employees minus resigned this will give you the total current employees in the company okay so let me give a quick overview from the main page so as per this uh, dashboard total customer uh, in the field obviously we have 7043 
and left total who have exited from this customer list uh, 1869 total revenue generated was 13.19 million loss we have occurred due to churning is 2.86 million and yet a total duration of 72 years now let me show you something see uh, in this graph you can see that the old customers in the old customers those who are are uh, with the company from five to six years there is a very less very less um, uh, only 93 93 people left the company so uh, basically old customers uh, are willing to stay with the company in the uh, company and the new customers they are very very, very frequently they are uh, living one more than 1000 shunning okay and let me tell you uh, here we can see in this graph <coughs> we can see that the uh, electronic check there is something really really wrong with this electronic check service because a lot of customer nearly 50 percent of the people were left due to this we have to really focus on this electronic how we can uh, better the process of electronic check this is uh, something really serious about this let me tell you the main part of the, those two tables now as per the demographic evidence uh, let me say you uh, gender wise <coughs> total partners those who have partners couples 3402 okay this is a total couple formation uh, individuals male and females are 3000 this uh, 3488 and 3555 so <coughs> and these are the unmarried without partners or maybe divorced they are 3641 total so total churning by payment method let me tell you the electronic check let's, let's see electronic by electronic check a lots of payments have left the churning is really high in electronic check so here again this shows that uh, maybe the process or the delivery of electronic check is uh, really um, not uh, uh, customer friendly and the gender diversity is uh, that there is not much difference uh, only both are mean i mean 50 50 uh, both are we have both gender so there is a no um, no need to target only the men or only the female genders here okay so we have to focus on both them then now let me tell you uh, one thing the streaming tv okay total churn by streaming tv as you can see here this shows that uh, that uh, it doesn't matter that whether they have any internet service or not because the churning related to internet service is very less whereas we can see that if they don't have a uh, streaming tv they have a normal tv don't have a streaming tv then you can see that there is a very large uh, very large quantity that yes they will uh, leave the company here with this customer by contact type month to month year to year one uh, one year in one year there are very less month there, there is a very frequent living or showing in the month year basis okay let's uh, come to revenue in revenue we can see that there is a total loss of 2.86 million there is a total loss this loss is different from this loss this loss okay total charges uh, total charges we have calculated like this uh, total that will be so you the tax so it's basically gives the sum of uh, the whole total charges that we have made from uh, that we have taken from the customers okay so this will basically the sum of the total charges dependent customer again Independent, independent customer here yeah, i will obviously sorry so let me add, so this uh, let me give you this this chart wait let me show you this chart so from this chart we can uh, see that this chart we can from this chart we can see that uh, through automatic bank transfer we have generated the most of the revenue and credit card these two are our main focus and electronic 
check in you can see the loss is very high the loss is very high in this uh, electronic check so again this is this, this should be our primary focus to improve this service this service must be improved as we can see because every graph we see electronic segment the loss is very high the churning is very high customer are not satisfied with this electronic check let's come to the next churning based on subscription okay let me uh, those this chart shows that those who are who have uh, partners and those who are without partner they are mainly uh, the churning is same the churning is here in uh, as you can say that the churning is high those who have without those who are without partners so their partners tends to live more frequently we are in diversity and inclusion analysis uh, this is also uh, a part of this because this data set is very large it will take a lot of time to explain all this thing clearly and in, unless you do it uh, it will be very uh, problematic for us to show all this to you okay so as you can see now let me show you a quick very quick review how this chart will show you that uh, the gender uh, distributions of our employees so as you can see that 20 to 29 nearly same there is a very little difference in the gender gap okay now employee position let me show you there so we have a good number of uh, junior officers and uh, senior officers is also a very good number so the overall matrix of this employee positions is uh, good okay now the most of our this chart will show you that most of our employees are from switzerland france germany and italy and others are very little okay now this will show you this chart will show you how, uh, how employees are uh, what type of employees are uh, resigning uh, frequently as we can see that uh, junior officer junior officer resigned is very less resigned is very less and uh, resigned is uh, nearly 176 okay and only 70 people have resigned in 2021 promotions were mainly from operations and sales so it's obvious that operations and sales people will get because they really work hard and they have the most difficult job sales and marketing and operations is one of the most difficult tasks in, in any industry so and departmental distribution let me show you so in operations we have mainly same uh, male and female the, this will this is uh, basically men and female distribution gender distribution in different types of uh, department okay in sales and marketing there is a males is uh, uh, males are in a fairly large number than as compared to females okay so this is uh, basically my chart this i have done and let me tell you something the so so this is the uh, this is the my dashboard let me show you the ppt of this uh, chart the final project that i have done so this is the pwc customer details analysis dashboard and now if i will click here if i will click here it will directly bring me to the uh, customer returns analysis main main dashboard not all the dashboard but main dashboard now let's go back to the first page so here i have keep, uh, presented it uh, very uh, very uh, nicely let me show you what i insights i have got so the total gender distribution is even a large segment of our customer prefer month to month 
contract as you can see the contract basis of month to month subscriptions are uh, at a very large uh, number okay so in the next slide as you can see Uh, customer report as in, in the customer report you can see the partner and user partner by sharing the marriage registration dependence of our customer doesn't have much impact on them is staying virtually so this is basically not so important factors let's move on generated based on subscription so this insight you, as uh, from this graph, graph you can see that a large percent of customer that churn didn't subscribe for services offered online security online backup device protection so these are the services that are lacking the rate of subscription should therefore be looked into so as to allow more customer services to the end that they stay with us so basically the rate of subscription may be high or maybe there are some other problem this this uh, this should be looked upon a large percentage of their churn place pay using electronic check and this is one of the very worst services or worst hit services and loss making services is for our company so this should be fixed this should be fixed next the streaming service such as uh, the streaming tv or streaming movies doesn't have ma any major impact in the customer churning a last percentage the 90 for 91 of the customer that subscribes phone services are churning so phone services has a really some it's got some real serious problems so we have must look into this to in order to retain more customers so let's move on the revenue and the total losses so total charges we have collected is 16.06 million total revenue we generated 13.19 million and total loss is 2.86 million customer who have been with us for five years more than five years are our real gold our uh, real got four to five years is retention is 31 percent more than five years 50 percent retention the highest percentage of loss recorded is for customers who have been with us for four to five years with equal to loss losses revenue is a uh, loss they have given uh, good revenue but losses is also uh, such high and basically these are the people who are giving losses are they use electronic check so again electronic check is uh, is uh, really hampering our growth knowledge knowing that most of the customers use electronic checks as a main of payment rate contributing 25 25.60 to our loss revenue so that we need to find out this issue with our electronic check and have it fixed so these are the insights that i have and this is the main dashboard and the projects in here so this is uh, so this is the final uh, project that I made and already submitted. I have got the internship certificate and this project was uh, passed by their representative, the PwC representative. So thank you again.